We have all used Google, but searching for literary criticism articles on Google can waste a lot of your time. Say you are writing a research paper on Frankenstein. You might start out on Google and type Frankenstein in the search box. You'll see there are 8 million results. And if you scroll on down the page, it's pretty obvious most of these results aren't going to help you with your research paper. One reason is that Google searches for words without context or relevance. Searching using subject headings in either the library catalog or a Galileo database will retrieve results that are relevant. Figuring out subject headings that fit your research topic is not always obvious and may take some trial and error. Let's compare our Frankenstein search using Gilfind, which is the library catalog. Here you get search results as well as subject headings at the top. You have the author's name, you have the character's name, and if you click more, you're given additional subject headings related to your search. Next to each subject heading, you have a number which tells you how many items you will retrieve if you click on that subject heading. Let's look carefully at each subject heading. You have criticism and interpretation, which has three results. Up here in the right-hand corner, you see history and criticism, which gives you 25 results. Let's click on that one. We have just now used a subject heading to do searching. As you scroll down through these results, the items are much more related to a college research paper. Now that we know subject headings from doing our search in Gilfine, let's try them in one of the Galileo databases. In this case, I'm going to Academic Search Complete, but you can try them in any of the Galileo databases. We could go ahead and type Frankenstein here, but to do a good subject search, we want to select Advanced Search. This gives you these field boxes that you can open up and select subject terms. This is where we put the subject headings. So we'll use Frankenstein, and we now know criticism is a subject heading. We don't have to put in history and criticism, or criticism and interpretation. We can just use criticism, and that will pull up both of those subject headings. Don't forget to change the field to subject terms. Conducting the search using Frankenstein and criticism as subject terms brings you up 11 results. These results, as you can tell from the subjects listed under each title, have the word Frankenstein in them, and they also have the word criticism in them. Sometimes you get way more than 11 results when you do searches. One way you can narrow down a really large search is to look for additional subject terms, which can be found in the EBSCO databases over on the left-hand side. You can open up the subject thesaurus term and click Show More, and this presents you with subject headings with boxes next to them. You can add them to your search that you've already done by just clicking in the box and updating your search. Subjects are also a good way to find more subject headings. Don't forget to select Show More to see the complete list. Click Update and that will add this subject heading that you've selected to your search. Since there's only 11, we'll just leave the list as it is. Something else that might happen too is that you'll see a subject heading that you hadn't seen before and this might fit your paper exactly. To do the search, you can click on the title which shows a list of the subject terms and you can click on that specific subject term which will redo a search. It'll do a new search and only bring up items that have pride in literature as a subject heading. So there are eight results of articles that talk about pride in literature. This is helpful to know when you do a search but you haven't yet found the subject heading that hones in on the specific topic that you're looking for. You now have some of the basics on using subject headings for doing your search. Good luck on writing your research paper.